Hola gang, we're gonna be doing some frozen Chinese today. Yeah! Hello, and welcome to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your old nerd of the day, and I do try things so you don't have to. So yeah, I'm gonna be trying out a frozen meal from P.F. Chang's home menu, and these are drunken noodles. Oh, I want to show you my mug that I got. Uh, found this over at Goodwill, just hunting around, and I found a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup coffee mug. This is ceramic. Hear that? Ceramic. With a rubber lid. There you go down inside where I'll put my coffee, maybe some Reese's Peanut Butter Cup coffee or something like that. A little silicone thing around there to keep me from burning my fingers that says Reese's on it. But isn't that sweet? Reese's peanut butter cups all over it. Love it. $2.50. All right. Old guy goggles. Uh, P.F. Chang's home menu drunken noodles is a rice noodle bowl with chicken breast, yellow bell pepper, spinach, and red bell peppers with a Thai basil sauce. If you look down there, they've got a little heat meter. And there's only one, so I think I'll be able to handle this one. And it says on the back, stay in, eat like you didn't. At P.F. Chang's, our food is made from scratch every day in every restaurant. By the way, P.F. Chang's is a Chinese American restaurant. Um, and when you can't make it to the restaurant, nothing comes closer to the flavors you love than our P.F. Chang's home menu. And that's signed by Philip Chang, the co-founder. Says it's made with all natural chicken raised without antibiotics, uh, no artificial flavors, no preservatives, no artificial colors. And then the ingredients is uh, the rice noodles, what makes up the sauce, the vegetables, the yellow and red bell peppers and the spinach. And um, then the seasoned cooked chicken. And it says it contains soy and wheat, so. Pretty, pretty natural stuff. Okay, and how are we supposed to cook this up? Uh, it says, do not cook in conventional or toaster oven. So it's nuker only. Microwave on high, four to five minutes. No need to vent film. Stir careful. It's hot. And check that the temperature is thoroughly at uh, 165, of course, just for safety. Okay, open it up. Take a look. And there it is in its frozen state. So you got your chicken. You've got your, uh, all the rice noodles in there. You can see a lot of spinach, a lot of spinach in there. And some red and yellow bell peppers. So all the players are represented there. All right, shove it in the microwave and we'll see what comes out. So I ended up doing it for the full five minutes and let's see what came out. I've got it on my very colorful tray. There it is. There's your chicken. A lot of spinach, a lot of peppers, and I like this. I, I don't get stuff that has broccoli in it because broccoli is a nay-nay for me, uh, but I like peppers, and I like spinach. I, I surprisingly like cooked spinach. So, and it, it looks like it makes up a pretty good amount too. All right, last look there. And I'll get some chicken on here, and some noodles, and some spinach, and some peppers. All those players on the fork, give it a shot. Hmm, do that again. Get everything together again. Keep slipping off the fork. Do it one more time before I rate it. All right, take it by the numbers. Um, the noodles are tender. They're not hard. I'm glad I did it for the full five minutes. I think that's probably around what you'd want to do it for. Um, the, uh, let's see, let's go for the, the chicken. The, the chicken is tender. Um, it's, it's pretty decently seasoned. I think you'd want to 
add a little bit more, maybe add a little bit more salt and pepper, but, but overall, the flavor is really nice. It comes through. I'm somebody who really likes stir-fried vegetables. I don't like my veggies too soft since I, if I'm going to eat veggies at all, since I eat by texture. So that said, the uh, red peppers and the uh, yellow peppers um, are, are pretty decent, nice flavor. A little bit on the soft side, but I mean, that's that's going to be just what you're going to get when you're doing a microwave type dinner. And a lot of spinach. And even though I like it, usually I can really take or leave the, the cooked spinach. And that sauce really helps bring everything together and bring the flavor out. It's got a, just a slight little heat to it. You feel a, I feel a little bit of a, a little teeny bit of a burn on my lip, but just enough to make a really nice, rich flavor. Nothing really stands out over anything else. All the flavors of everything just kind of mesh together really well and just enhance each other. They're, they're all playing real nice in there together. And they put in a pretty decent amount of everything. They, they didn't seem to skimp on any one thing. So I don't have the receipt on me, but when I picked this up, the damage, I believe, was $3.50 somewhere around there and and that's fairly normal for a a higher quality frozen food on the nerdometer i would give the pf chang drunken noodles what makes them drunken noodles i don't know what what makes them drunken noodles leave it down in the comments if you know um i would give this on the nerdometer uh i think i would do a high i like it it's really good. Um, nice flavors. Everything comes through. Uh, real nice sauce. The chicken's tender. Uh, the, the veggies are good. Uh, all the flavors work well together. Yeah, just good stuff. And it's really hard for me to find a really good Chinese frozen type of food. Usually they taste really odd, really strange. Uh, the chicken in any kind of microwave dish um, usually tastes really off. But they've done well on this. So I would definitely recommend you go out and give it a try. See what you think. Um, if you like Chinese food and you don't want to go out and pay the prices for going out to a sit down or takeaway or anything like that. And if you've tried this before or any of the other P.F. Chang flavors, I know they have a few. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you tried. Tell me what you thought. So there you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Uh, follow me on my social networks, uh, on my website. All those links are down below in the description. And did you notice that thanks button now below all the videos? Hit that thing. See what it does. <laughs> um, but if you do all that, you too, you too can become a part of the coffee swilling old nerd crony community. Uh -huh. All right. Appreciate you watching and I'll talk to you again. Bye now.